Hey everyone, so today I wanted to show you a very easy way to create a visual progress meter with the storyline built-in variables. So if you go to your Manage Project Variables tab and you look at built-in, you'll see all of these built-in variables that can be related to slide numbers or progress. So I'm going to show you how you can create the visual progress meter by using the slide number variable. So first we're going to go to our slide master and for the purposes of this I'm going to delete what I've had there and we are going to select a shape. I want it to be a rounded rectangle and I want it to be up here 37 high. That's going to be my height and I want white fill no outline cool now we have that it's right there now we have to add some states so I'm going to keep the normal state and then I'm going to create a new state called 25 and what I want to do there is I'm going to take that same rectangle and then I'm going to set the shape to a different fill. I'm choosing this pretty pink color and then we are going to drag our line to approximately 25 percent. Um, oops, hang on, hang on here. I didn't copy that. All right, we want to copy it. Do we have two now? Ah. All right, so this is the annoying thing about, we're going to trash this. This is the annoying thing about one of the latest releases on um, of Storyline 360 for Mac specifically. And I think it has something to do with parallels. It is something that hasn't been fixed in, I don't know, a while. And so sometimes you're allowed, it'll, it'll allow you to use your control C and control V to um, copy and paste like normal, but then sometimes it'll just throw a tantrum and decide no. So I will deal with this later and in lieu of that I will just create a new shape. <sighs> That's so annoying. All right, it's 37. All right, oh gosh dang it, sorry. Now I'm all flustered. Let's just get rid of that. We want that one to be on our duplicate state. Cool. Now we're going to add the new shape because it doesn't want to let us copy and paste. Awesome. There we go. Format this color. No outline. Now we're going to drag it to approximately 25%. Cool. So we've got that. <clears throat> and then we're going to duplicate that and we're going to do 50% and then we're going to drag our previously copied so we don't have to copy it again to about 50%. Awesome. Then we're going to do that with 75 and move this to about 75 and then we're going to create a 100 and at this point we are just going to drag this all the way to the end and now we have 100 great we have all of our states so done editing states now we need to add some triggers the triggers are going to make it work so we are going to create one trigger change state of that rectangle to we're going to say normal when the timeline starts if um, the variable of slide number is equal to 1 because that would be the first slide. Then we're going to duplicate that, make some changes. So we're going to change normal to 25 when the slide number is equal to 2. Cool. And then we're going to do the same thing for the remaining three. So 50 when the slide is 3, 
copy, paste, 75 when the slide is 4, and 100 when the slide is 5. Awesome. So now we should have a fully functioning progress meter that when we preview this, as we navigate through the slides, you will see our progress meter fill and populate. There we go. And then when you use the previous button, you're going to see it depopulate. Very cool. I love the new slide number functionality. This is just one way of creating a visual progress meter using those built-in variables. So stay tuned. I will be covering some of the other options that you have as well. See you all next time.